What would happen if everyone pulled on the moon? The moon is 384,400 kilometers away from us, give or take several thousand kilometers depending on where you are. We would need to get a rope or a cable long enough to reach to the moon and then somehow attach this cable deep into the moon's surface. Of course, there would be no realistic way to get a cable from here to the moon since just 400 meters of steel elevator cable weighs around 40,000 pounds or 18,145 kilograms. It would be impossible to get such a heavy cable to the moon. But for the fun of our experiment, let's pretend the cable is unbreakable and weightless and we send a delivery guy to the moon with one end of the cable. Realistically, we would need to ignore the Moon and the Earth's rotation because the Moon orbits the Earth at a speed of 2,288 miles per hour, 3,683 kilometers per hour. It would actually be us being pulled around by the Moon if we didn't stop its orbit. And what about gravity? The Moon itself doesn't weigh anything in space. It simply has mass and it's too far away from the Earth to be pulled towards us by Earth's gravitational force. So, we've got our cable delivered and anchored on the Moon. Our rotation is stopped and we're ready. But we are all over the world and everyone needs to get into one spot. That's no problem as the whole world population could fit together in Tunisia. So now, we have all the people we need in one spot on the Earth. We should look at who is pulling. The strongest guys in the world have pull strengths anywhere from 100 pounds to 200 pounds or 45 to 90 kilograms. Women, children and older people would have less pull strength. If we say that each human being is capable of pulling 50 pounds, 23 kilograms, and with babies doing their best and doing some of our best maths, the human race would have a pulling force of 1.60 trillion newtons. Let's say we just tugged on the moon. If we did this, the moon would come towards the earth for a second. Then the repelling gravity of the tidal bulges would push it back out. Earth is actually pushing the moon farther from us, but if we decided to pull the moon all the way to the earth, it would take 184 years. By the time the moon gets close enough to the surface of the earth, it is only traveling at 0.25 miles per hour. And while that is not very fast, once the moon got onto the earth, it would hit with a kinetic energy of 140,000 megatons of TNT. If the moon didn't break off into millions of pieces as it entered our atmosphere, once it hit the ground, it would go hundreds of miles deep into the Earth's mantle. There would be disasters of every type of thing you could think of. With that being said, the moon looks just fine where it's at now, don't you think? We hope you had fun with us in this thought experiment. Comment below and tell us what you think would happen.